Merry Christmas everyone and welcome back to Telepan TV. Today we're going to make roast goose. It's probably one that scares a lot of people because they're always like, how do I cook a goose? Well, we're going to take the mystery out of you today and we're going to put a little Christmas twist onto it. What you do, you have your goose here, you want it to be pretty dry. We're going to do it, this, we're going to do it day before preparation by just trimming some of the fat here, like so. And you're going to save that and we're going to use that cook later and just pulling out some any extra fat you have in here. If there's any gizzards or stuff in here you'd like to pull them out also. What you do first here is we're just going to break the wing up like so. And you see it has a knuckle here. It's going to go right into it, take it right off. And that's going to, and I'll show you, that's going to serve as your roasting rack. So for those people who have small apartments or not a lot of equipment, you can use these as your, you don't, and you don't have a roasting rack, you could use that up. What I'm going to do is just start by doing a salting of it for overnight, 24 hours or so. And just like with the turkey, it'll allow, it'll allow the goose, it'll allow the flavor to, to come out because the salt will penetrate into the goose. You can do this up to two, three days ahead of time, no worries. And then you're going to bring it out. You're going to bring it to room temperature for at least an hour before you cook it. And you're going to set your oven for 350 degrees. From here, what you're going to do, we're going to give it that little Christmas cheer. Just pat it dry. We're going to take some apples here. Just some basic red apples. We've got some beautiful wine saps here. We're going to quarter them. So two apples per goose. I have a mix here of cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and ginger. You're going to put half that amount onto the apples. You're going to season them a little with salt. Just sort of mix them up really well. We're just going to place them inside the cavity of the goose. So you get some of that internal flavor. The apples will be nice. We're going to actually use the apples for the sauce later. Shove them in there. A tiny little piece here. And then bring them together. Like so. This will help hold the apples in, some of the juice as it cooks. And then we're going to salt it again. Oh, more salt on there. Again, if you're a little wary on salt, the first salting is fine. I'm going to put this onto our little rack here. And we're going to take less, the rest of the Christmas spices and just spread it around the whole bird. After an hour and a half, you are going to start the basement. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull a little of it out. And you see all this fat down here. And you're just going to take about a two ounce, a couple ladles of the fat, and put it on there. I got a mix here of apple cider and white wine vinegar that we're just going to pour a little onto the bird, like so. You're gonna do that for the next half hour. So three, two more shots um, of put a basting this with the fat and, and adding the, uh, the vinegar and the cider to it. And then after a half hour, you're gonna turn the oven up to 500 degrees, and this will start to crisp with the skin. And you're gonna do this for about 20 minutes, another 20 minutes to a half hour to see, you know, till the skin gets crispy and, and gets nice. So you want to take the temperature to about 160 in the leg. So, this baby's ready. Nice golden skin. Got some good color from the spice. And look at all that fat that drained out. So we're gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes until we start to carve it up and take the apples out and we can finish the sauce. See some drippings in there. We're gonna try to keep most of those in there. I'm gonna just pour all that juice that's in the bird there. So you just want to break them up when you can, or chop them up, like this. Cook this out for a couple minutes, and then we're going to add a couple, we're going to add two cups of stock to it. So you pour it all into the pan, and then you want to, because it'll collect all the drippings from the pan, put it into a pot, and let that cook out.
All right, so after about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you give it a little taste. That's a good, sweet, sour taste to it. The apple's all broken down. You want to strain it by really pressing down on the apples. Let them release a lot of their juice. Press it really well. Kind of like an apple cider sauce here you're making. Take your boost. Do one of two things here. You can break down the legs first, like so. Oh, yeah. The wonderful thing about the goose is the fat flavors. The chef's favorite part. The leg. Here, I feel that middle bone. There, this, these are what's considered well done, but I think when you're cooking a goose like this, this is how you this is how you want it to be cooked. I think it start cutting some slices off her. Let's go back over to our sauce here. Pour a little of that over there. There you have it, folks. It's Christmas Goose. Happy holidays from all of us at Telepan, and we'll see you next time on Telepan TV.